Good afternoon, Hayden City High School. Are you happy to see the governor and baby girl? For those of you that don't know, I'm Tammy Wells, Superintendent of Wetzel County Schools. It is an honor and a privilege to welcome Governor Justice today with baby girl, of course, and to have a distinguished guest from the county office, from the county school system. Please give them all a big round of applause. Board members to please stand up. President Brian Price. <laughs> Linda Farmer. <laughs> and Mr. Castillo, Brian Castillo. Mr. Yeager, I'm so used to you being county office. Mr. J. Yeager, our vice president of the board. Payton City High School, you guys are I've always said there are two kinds of people in this world. There are people that have a problem for every solution, and you know the kind. Then there are the people that have a solution to every problem. Peyton City High School, you are that school. You have a solution to every problem. You're small, but guess what? You don't have an ag program, so you created your own garden. You don't have a lot of career tech education programs at this school. But your business, Career Tech Ed, is now selling items in stores, you're selling them here at school, you're selling them online. You are solution to problem focused. And that's what makes you extremely viable. And today, you're going to be honored for solving another problem. So Peyton City High School, sit back. I'd like for you now to give a big welcome to your principal, Mr. Jay Sala. Good afternoon. I want to thank the board members and county office staff and Superintendent Tammy Wells for coming today. Thank you board members for being here. Uh, we also have Del Delegate Dave Kethel with us today. Give us a wave. There he is. Um, and I want to say thank you for all my students and staff, my custodians who have done a phenomenal job getting ready for today's visit. Thank you. Um, I just truly believe that Hayden City High School is the best school in West Virginia. Y'all make me very proud every single day. Um, and I also want to thank Governor Justice and Baby Dog for visiting us today. And before Governor Justice speaks, I'd like to introduce Ms. Lloyd, who has a few words for you. Good afternoon, my name is Tracy Lloyd. Some of you know who I am and some of you do not. So let me just start by introducing myself. My name is Mrs. Lloyd, and I am the Countywide Mitigation Secretary. You have probably seen me in the halls or heard me a time or two, or maybe even a thousand, masks up. It is part of my job to help you keep safe and in school. Since COVID hit us hard in March of 2020 and we had to shut down our schools, nothing has been the same. We have missed out on field trips, sporting events, extracurricular activities, school dances, and even had to switch up graduations to make them safe for you. The good old high school days have changed with all the unknowns, but as a true wildcat, we have adapted to the new ways and did our best with what we had to offer. The uncertainty of ever returning back to good old Payton City High School stayed in the back of our minds as we wondered if things would ever return to normal. This year we turned to school in an end school learning, and you have learned to adapt at any moment and situation. Though at times it seems as nothing good will ever come out of this situation. But because of you, you, the students and the staff at Payne City High School, something great is about to happen. You have chosen to change the school, the state, and the world. You are making a dramatic difference in our schools, in our communities, and your families, and it has not gone unnoticed. Because of this, Governor Justice has asked to visit us today and to share a very important message. So, without further ado, I present to you Governor Justice and the Baby Dog. Well, I hope everybody's doing great. And to all the administration and the board members and the delegate and just everybody, principals and everybody, I thank you for having us here. I'm sorry we're a little late. We, uh, we've been driving a long ways and everything, and, and we've seen a lot of great people and a lot of really beautiful stuff across the state. Now, 
if I could just, if I could just talk to you just, you know, common talk. You know, you don't really probably have any idea how special you really are. I mean, and you really probably think that you're limited in your dreams and your passion will only take you so far. Well, just think with me just one second. Would you ever have believed that my grandparents never had any employment? And literally and truly, we started out with nothing. And we just worked hard, we had a real passion, we had dreams and everything, and we just wouldn't quit. And lo and behold, of all things, you end up one day, you're the governor of the state of West Virginia. And on top of that, you end up one day, and you got a bulldog that goes around with you. I mean, that has the same diet that you have. And she looks like a gigantic brown watermelon. And she loves chicken nuggets, and so do I. So nevertheless, and you know the other thing I would tell you is just this. In my world, at least, God above gave me the ability to smile and laugh. And this journey's going to be tough enough. It's already tough. I mean, if you just step back and just think about 18 months, you've had this mask on. A lot of you have known people that got really, really sick. And a lot of you have known people that we've lost. The last time I was here, there was a young man, Logan Flew Hart. It was in the summer. A man, a young man that had been on your football team and your wrestling teams, and who knows why? Who knows why? that a child is battling cancer and we're losing. At the end of the day, we really don't have any guarantees about anything. But I truly believe with all in me that God above is looking after us. Now, through this struggle that you've been through with this pandemic, we'll get through it. We'll get through it some way, somehow. And today, today is testimony to, again to who you are. Just think about it. You've got the governor of the state of West Virginia with you today. And absolutely, that's big stuff. And it's even bigger stuff because if I were to ask you, and I will right now, who are you more excited to see, the governor or baby dog? Baby <laughs> Thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. <laughs> but really and truly, I love it, you see, because what she's done for me is unbelievable. You know, she rides with me a lot, and she makes me smile, and when I pet her, you know, it's just like, uh, I know she loves me, and, I, and it, it really becomes lonely an awful lot in this job. Can you imagine if you, and you do it out of respect and honor, but you've read nearly right at 5,000 names of West Virginians. You've read their gender, their age, the county that they're from, that we've lost. 5,000 names. Well, it weighs on you in a big way. But really and truly, a lot of times you look at this little rascal and she makes you smile and she does something else that's unbelievable. She loves everybody. Now I say it over and over because it's really profound and it's really important. You know, I really believe that God, the definition of coincidence is an everyday occurrence in which God chooses to remain anonymous. Now just think about that. Well, baby dog just came along. And really and truly, you know, when she looks at you, she makes you smile. And then the other thing she does is she loves everybody. Everybody. Now, if you just, just kind of try to put that together real fast and say, is that not our answer to every single thing we got going? If we can try to make others smile, and others always knew that we all loved everybody. Didn't care who you came from, who you were, whatever. 
we unequivocally loved everybody. Wouldn't this world be a heck of a lot better place to be in? We don't need the jealousies, and we don't need the bickering, and we don't need to throw rocks at each other. We need to pull the rope together all the time. Well, you've done something really, really special here. We had competition, statewide competition, the Board of Education, or the Department of Education, rather, put this together and said, we're going to give $25,000 away to a school. A school that has the highest percentage of vaccination rate. And then all of a sudden, we said, no, no, let's make it 50,000. And we're going to give it away to a school. There was hundreds of schools in the state of West Virginia. And literally, literally, of those schools, 77 of them thought they could win. And so they registered 77 schools. I'm here today to tell you, you won. You won. And Baby Dog and I have got a check for you guys for $50,000. $50,000 if you want to do all kinds of these stuff. And if I've got, if I'm on the right page here, and I don't think I am, but no, I'm not. But nevertheless, you know, one of the things that was just mentioned is whether it be field trips or dances or whatever it may be that you've missed out on in your extracurricular stuff in lots of ways, this may be part, you partly used to do things that maybe make your high school experience what it should be in every way. So literally, I absolutely congratulate you beyond belief. And the only other thing that I'd like to do today is just tell you this. If your teachers, principals, whoever will allow you, I want you to come down and say hi to Betty Dell. Y'all come on down here and see that baby dog. We, we don't let you come, come in whatever way you want to come. 